Hey folks, Rob Davenport here from Web Talk Revolution. And in this week's quick tip, we're gonna show you how to make one of these cool overlays down here. So stay tuned. Web Talk Revolution. Quick tips with Rob Davenport. All right, so let's get into our tutorial. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open a new composition in After Effects. And we're just going to take HDTV 1080p, uh, which is 1920 by 1080 pixels. And we're just going to call this uh, forward comp. And we're going to want to make the time. Um, I usually find about 15 seconds is, uh, is a good place to start. Once you do this tutorial, once you'll, you'll figure out what uh, time frame to use and stuff. But... Uh, just to get started. So we're gonna click OK and start our tutorial. I don't know why I said start our tutorial. It doesn't really make sense. Hmm. Anyway, um, so first things we're gonna to wanna to do uh, is to create a solid. So we're just gonna go new, solid, and in here, we're going to make it, uh, depending on the colors that you're, you're going to want to use, we're going to make a green one today for Web Talk Revolution. So we're going to start off with a dark green color. Click OK. And we're going to come into our window, and we're just going to size that down so it's, uh, you know, maybe about that high. And we're going to move it down. Now, if you notice, you move it around, it goes all out of alignment. If you press Shift while you're dragging it down, it will hold it straight, snap it in place for you. So we're gonna go down to uh, right about here. Okay, so now we're gonna create another solid. And we're gonna make this one a little bit of a lighter green. Something uh, about like that. And click OK. And now we're gonna take and resize this one down. Uh, make it about that big and we'll just drag it down holding shift put it right about there okay so now we're going to create one more solid and i'm just going to make this one like a light gray something about right there click ok and now we're going to adjust the size of this one down to about there and we're just gonna take, and I'm not gonna align it so I won't be pressing snap. And we're gonna put it right about there. Okay, so yeah, it looks all right. So let's, uh, let's give this a little bit more of a 3D effect. Uh, we'll go to our pale gray solid or gray solid, depending on what you called it. Uh, go to layer, and then we're gonna go down to layer styles, and then drop shadow. And you can see there's adds a little bit of a drop shadow there. It's kind of hard to see uh, probably on the screen capture, but it's there. Um, next thing we can do is uh, let's play with our uh, finish points here. Because you'll notice this comes all the way across the screen, which is kind of annoying. So we're going to drag it back a little bit. And we're going to click on this one. And we're going to drag it a bit. And if you click on shift after you've... Uh, you started moving it, you'll notice it snaps into place so you don't get all out of alignment. And maybe we'll put this one right about here. Okay, so that's starting to look good. Let's uh, bring in a logo here so we have a little bit of a logo. And, uh, hmm, let's put some text in next. So uh, just new text. And we're just going to type web talk revolution so now we drag it down and uh, find some place for it to go now it like i said this is all you know based on your own uh, feelings for how you want to create your artwork i'm just trying to show you a simple method of making it so you find the spot that you want um you're probably going to want to you know change colors or maybe fonts and uh Uh, let's see. Let's go with white. And we'll move it right down here. Okay. 
And, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to see our text on our background. You know, it would be really good is if we had a picture, uh, a screen cap from our video or our uh, webcam. Just scale that out. So now you can kind of see it with an actual picture of what it's going to look like. Uh, maybe we'll scale the logo down a bit. Right about there. Maybe move it down so it's setting on top. We'll take uh, the Web Talk Revolution. Maybe move it to the center almost. And uh, we'll drop the transparency. If you press T, you can drop your opacity. So we'll drop that down a bit. And then uh, we're gonna need some text up here. So we're gonna be, there we go. Now we're just gonna go down to our uh, layer here and duplicate that. I'm pressing Control D. And we're going to change the color of the, the bottom one to black. And then we're just going to uh, make sure our move tool is selected and we're going to find a little bit, bit of an angle here to make it stand out. You don't want to stand out too much, but then again, you don't want it to stand out not enough. So uh, that looks pretty good. I don't like where it's positioned though, so we're going to move it. Hmm. Where would be a good place to put it? Every time I build one of these, it's, it's, it's always unique. I never build the same one twice, so. There. Put it just there, and uh, yeah. So now we've got a lower third, but you're like, Rob, I could have done this in Photoshop. Why, why would I do it in After Effects? Well, that's where we get into the next part. So we're going to have to animate these layers so they actually do something. So we're going to want to come out here to about... I find just about a uh, second and a half usually works pretty good. Uh, we'll turn off our text layers and uh, hide our logo layer. And that just leaves us with our solids. So um, to get started, we'll just take, go back all the way to the beginning, press P for to bring up the pos position controller, uh, click our animate button. And we're just going to adjust and move the the actual solid back. Now, I'm not used to doing this on, on this monitor. Okay, so we just want to get it just about off screen. And we're going to do the same thing with uh, the deep green solid. Now you can press shift and it will move it a lot faster, but uh, sometimes that's a little much for new people. And we'll do the same thing to the gray solid. So P for position, and then click the stopwatch to start the animate. And we're just gonna move it all the way back. So it's just off the screen. Okay, so now we're gonna scrub into about, um, usually about a second and a half is good. Or sometime, wow, well, actually, let's go with three quarters of a second on this one. And pick the one that you want to move out first. Now, personally, I like to start with the middle one. It kind of gives it a nice feel. So we're going to move that uh, right about there. Now, you can always adjust these later, right? So, oh, my, I forgot to click on the stopwatch on that one. So I'll have to move it back. Click the stopwatch, scrub out to about three quarters of a second, and we'll move it out to right about there. Looks good. Okay, so I'm going to come out here just a little bit further, and then I'm going to grab the back one, hold down on shift, and slide it over to right about there, and then we'll grab the green or the pale gray one and we'll scrub ahead just a little bit and we'll move it in as well okay so let's see what this looks like just has zero and you can see looks good okay one thing about it though is is you notice it just kind of comes in and stops it's kind of jarring so let's fix that uh, we're going to want to click the graph editor so just click this little button here 
And then we're going to highlight, uh, we'll start with the pale gray, gray green solid. Um, come over and select the second little node here. And we're just going to click Easy Ease and just make sure that it looks uh, not too tight, not too loose, like the curve's not too sharp or uh, too loose. And it looks good. We'll go down and do the same thing for the next two. So click on the second node, click the Easy Ease button. And on the third one, click the second node, click the Easy Ease button. And there we go. So now when we play it, you notice it kind of slows down just before the end. So it's not so jarring. All right, looking good. Now we're all go work on our text layers and logos. So you notice they're still here and then this stuff comes in. That doesn't look quite right. So first thing we're going to do is start with our logo and all I want my logo to do is we're going to play with the position here a little bit, animate it, and we're just going to move it off screen as well. Come out to right about here when it's about halfway across the screen and then we'll move the logo out uh, right about there. And since I'm already in the graph editor, I'm just going to click the easy ease. And it should come in pretty smooth. Perfect. Okay, now what about the text? So we'll just clean up our layers here. Okay, and we'll turn off our graph layer. Okay, so we got our three text layers here. And, uh, we're just going to scrub out to, uh, usually I find right about here. So the, the longest one's about three quarters of the way across. And we're just going to go into our effects and presets uh, area. And we can pick out whichever one you, you want to use. Um, I think I'm going to do a 3D scramble and blur. Okay. And you'll notice as we scrub along here a little bit, they all fly in and there you go. So scrub back until it's, uh, everything's still moving and we're going to pick one and put it on our other text. And I like the slow fade on. Okay. One thing you're going to notice is, is that our characters are still there on screen. Oh no. So what we're actually going to do is just before it starts, we're going to hit uh, select text, all three layers, and press T for to bring up the opacity, turn on the animate button, and set the opacity at zero. And we're going to scrub ahead a little bit until it's uh, right about here. And then we'll bring the opacity up to 100. All right, so there we go. All right, so now that that's it, we're just gonna preview it. And it's looking good. One thing I notice is the back. I forgot to actually add the slow fade on to uh, shadow color. So we're just gonna go back and fix that really quick. Uh, we'll go into our bottom one here that's black and we'll just do a uh, find out where starts coming on so right about there and we'll put a slow fade on on that so it should look something like hmm still not quite right just hold on I'm gonna play with this in a quick preview here oh and that looks smart really good okay so to finish this up we're just gonna go new composition and uh, just let me move the window over here. And we're going to leave everything default as we did in the original forward comp, but we are going to change the duration to 30. And click OK. And we're going to grab our forward comp and drag it into our new comp. And we're going to 
you can either drag it or duplicate it, whatever makes you comfortable. And then we're just going to take and scrub this down to the end. And hopefully there's no, oh, there's a little bit of a jar there. What do we do? Um, and that looks really good actually. Okay. So we're going to go down to the last comp that plays or the second one in this, the way I have it set up. We're going to right click on it. We're going to go up to time and we're going to go time reverse layer. And then you'll notice it just stays the same here, but down here, it starts going backwards. All right, so there we go. We've got a nice scrub in and scrub out. Let's do a preview really quick. In our main comp, we're gonna go new, solid, and depending on your logo is going to depend on what color you want the solid. Now, for example, I'm using gr a lot of green in this logo. So doing a green screen isn't going to work. It's just going to screw everything up. Instead, I'm going to use like a dark blue, something that uh, it's got to be light enough that it doesn't take out the shadows, but dark enough uh, that it picks up everything. So I usually right about there is good for me. Click OK click OK and we'll just drag it and drop it in the back and there we go. All we have to do now is set up our renders. Okay, so there's two different ways I recommend rendering this. Uh, it depends on the software you're going to be using it in. Uh, if you're going to add your overlays in something like Adobe Premiere or Sony Vegas, um, you're going to want to do it the first way here I'm going to show you. So and if you're going to use XSplit or one of the other live broadcasters, hang on, I'll show you that one just after. So we're going to uh, turn off our blue solid and just to double check, you can go up here and turn, toggle your transparency grid and you'll see that uh, everything's transparent except for the lower third, which is exactly what we want. And we're just going to go composition, add to render queue. And under the output module, we're going to change that to lossless with alpha. And I'm just going to click render and we'll be right back. Okay, so now our one with the alpha channel is rendered. And like I said, that just basically makes the background transparent. Um, these files generally won't work in any sort of broadcast software unless you're running the real high end professional stuff. Um, but they do work great in Adobe Premiere or Sony Vegas uh, for adding overlays on top of your videos. Uh, makes things a lot easier and you don't have to mess around with any green screen. But if you are using XSplit or open broadcast software or any other of the live broadcasters that feature uh, chroma key or color keying, uh, you can just enable the blue background and render it off like that as an MP4 or your preferred favorite for format. Um, I personally like MP4. MOV is not bad. Um, WMV is starting to get a little iffy and you definitely don't want to use any of the uh, lightly compressed or totally uncompressed formats such as AVI or uh, you know any of the big ones. Uh, <clears throat> Render it off as a small file like that, bring it into X split, do your color keying, and uh, it looks great. Now, next week on our quick tips, I'm going to show you how to actually do that with X split and Adobe Premiere. So stay tuned. I'll be next back next week. Now, don't forget, subscribe to this channel. Yeah, we're going to do a, a quick tip on Monday. We're going to do a review on Wednesday, and then we're going to have a Q&A session on Friday. So if you have a question, drop it in the comment box. We'll try to get to it every Friday. So keep checking it out. My name's Rob Davenport, and this is Web Talk Revolution. <laughs>